Right. Now, if you're not familiar with these streams as we usually do them, the way things usually work is we always start the stream with some movie content, and this week, there's not been all too much. There have only been two things that have come out this week that I really want to talk about, but what I do like about them is they are animated and kind of top tier, as in popular and known, they're like the, a, a major production. We have ourselves, and you may have mentioned it earlier, some lovely jubbly Hotel Transylvania. Are you guys familiar with this? They've released a, well, they haven't released it, but they are starting a fourth film. I liked the first film, I'll admit. It was a really interesting Sony style. I liked that kind of, as much as we don't like the Emoji movie, we love Spider-Verse, and I kind of can get behind that slapstick plastic look. I don't know why, I think I just like slapstick. I liked number one. I watched number two and it went a little off the rails, and then number three I've only seen in trailer form and I kind of, kind of avoided it, you know? Like a vampire avi avoids garlic. See what I did there? It was very strained. But they've made a fourth one. So today we're gonna go have a look through it and maybe we'll break it down. I mean, I don't really know the history of Hotel Transylvania, but we'll give it a good go. Let's get into it, shall we? Hey, Drac, what's up? Oh, all right. Alrighty then. Is that, uh, that must be new for this trailer then, uh, for this film, because I don't remember that. All right, they've turned our main human boy into not human anymore. Great. Transformania. Right. Uh, this better be the last film then, because it kind of loses its, you know, whim of monsters and humans getting to... Anyway. Here's to Hotel Transylvania. This is... All right. I'm going to also analyze as we go because copyrights will be everywhere. This is a Sony production and they love their mainstream musics. I don't know why they have like, they really love dance parties. Sony has this thing, I think it's Sony or is it everyone, where they always do dancing after the credits and it's like, oh, Illumination does it a lot as well. And I think actually DreamWorks did it a fair bit with like the Shrek films. I don't get behind it, it's just kind of shallow mainstreamy music that I'm not a fan of but Apparently these monsters love to party. It's it's a thing. <laughs> and it's set six years six years after the first one. That was Mavis's 119th, 118th birthday. I think that was the whole plot point there. So that's seven years later. He hasn't aged a pixel. Alright then. There's a lot of things going on here, but alright. Actually, I don't even see a difference between this and one at the moment. It's the same. It's looped back round. Number two was like on a camping trip, I think, and like there was a kid involved. Number three was on a cruise and there was like a love interest with the dad. And now they want the special heart, special piece in everyone's heart that was the first film to come back, I guess. So they just set it up for another birthday plot line, I guess. Yeah, the artifacting right over your line was very fitting. Okay, thank you, dear son-in-law. Okay, so so far there's nothing new. So like it's just more of the same, which I guess makes sense. It's Hotel Transylvania. I hope it actually. Do I care if it becomes good? Actually, yeah, I want good films, even if it is for kids. So far, nothing has impressed me other than the anatomy of this skeleton that I've never actually seen done in such a way. Like, just a weird... You're used to them standing up straight, so it's weird to see, like, a back arc like that. But that, I guess that is how our skeleton is. It's just... Oh, well. That's the only thing that's faintly caught my attention that's not just generic bait so far. But hey, I'll try not to be such a cynical critic. I ruined everything. Johnny, what are you talking about? You're... Yeah, you ruined it. What, is he now suddenly regretful that he, you know, got involved with vampires after all these years? I mean, he is a very dumb kid, so I guess that would happen, but... Dad never really thought of me as part of the family. Oh. Uh, so he, now he has the uh, regrets of the first? This is... okay. I'm not a monster. So, you want to become a monster, huh? Van Helsing? The monster uh, okay. Oh, okay, so he doesn't actually become a monster through... A bite or anything. He wants to become part of the family after seven years by becoming a monster through a wand. And it's taken him seven years to reach this 
point. Okay, that old dude is an important character from the third movie. Ah, Van Helsing. Okay. All right. And, you know, just get it. Yeah, another classical gothic kind of monster character. Yeah, I get it. All right. Oops. If they made a wand that brought monsters into humans and humans into monsters, why was there a war between the species back in the day if there was, like, a wand that swapped the teams, you know? Like, in the similar vein, there's always the argument of, ah, you know, if there was a device that turned all men into women and all women into men, there would be a lot less conflict between the sexes and the genders. And it's like, sure, like, you know, that's a an argument, a hypothetical argument. If that existed, though, would that not have made some sort of, like, oh, they're not so bad because I was them kind of element? No, it's just... Just the thing with this fourth film. Do I care? I think I care too much about the lore of these films every time a new in thing's introduced. Huh? That's weird. Nothing happened. <laughs> We're gonna go through all that. Hold on. <laughs> We've got time. Although, actually, it looks kind of standard. Just a stretch. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Get some smears in there. Maybe we'll find another remote in here. He's become Crash Bandicoot one frame. And then... Whatever the hell that is and another. My god, I can't make an emote of that if I tried. But hey, I love my stretch and squish. Oh, that is, that is a, this is art, you see. Forget the whole Hotel Transylvania series. Forget the obsessively weird, uh, like, appeal of Mavis in thumbnails. This, this right here is art, I tell you. No one else seems to understand. But I understand, and I hope you do, that this is the true art that we need from these Hotel Transylvania movies. Sony has this element down. <laughs> Alright, what else does he do? Oh, wow, that's a... That's a whip. That's gonna destroy all of his internal organs. Like, imagine where his heart is, and then it teleports over there, and it's got, like, a thrust to it. He's a dead man. He's so dead. Why is he doing the thriller? Oh... All right. Oh, all right. Jesus, He's, his eyes have become balloons. Oh, what does he even see? Oh, my God. The dude's going to explode. He's never going to see again after this. All right, and then become monster. How fast was that eyeball thing? Yeah, pretty bad. All right. Uh, again, got a... Classical music, not classical music, it's the opposite of classical music, but classic highbrow music to keep the audiences invested when there's nothing of major note going on. Well, actually, I guess there is stuff going on, but you see what I'm doing. Um, right, they have a giant puppy. That was established in a short. We covered it in the fastest review in the West. One day, if you look up Dow's Review's fastest review in the West, you will see a clip that was us analyzing analyzing reacting to the short that was this puppy existing in the hotel transylvania family enjoy that maybe by the time this comes out as a highlight and you're watching on youtube you can go do that because the clip hasn't come out yet because i've only just scheduled it uh what's going on okay there we go he gets zapped and gets turned into a small puppy or well, you know just regular puppy and that's that huh all right then oh uh so it tu- uh, of course, yeah, it's going the other way around. So it turned him into a Oh, it's doing a reverse of number one. Instead of him being the only human and everyone else monsters, now all the monsters are going to become human and he's the only monster? Is that it? I mean, that's not bad, but, you know, we'll see. The nightmare! It's over! I can <laughs> <do> it again! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I like that joke. I'll be honest, I completely forgot that, yeah, zombies were human once. I forget the lore of monsters, apparently. Hey, Drac, hey it's up? him. Johnny? Just a generic monster. <laughs> Did he just have a square ear for a second? Did I see that right? What was he doing? Listening to too much TV? Oh, it's a bat. Is it a bat here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, <laughs> I used this as the thumbnail for this stream earlier. He doesn't look any different. He's just got slightly softer ears and I guess what, less slicky hair? He looks the same. He, the vampires are humans in disguise. Like, uh, all right. He's got a gut. Okay. You're human and I'm 
a monster. <laughs> it's like Freaky Friday, but on a Tuesday, though. All right. It's fair enough. I mean, okay, that's not the worst thing. In the well, I don't know. I just want to see the smear frame again. Whoa. That's the part of Sony I like. I like these dynamic turns. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. It's stupid, but I like it. That's the part. We'll see. Transformania. All right. Oh, it is going to be more of them. Oh, why does the whole voice change? All right. Wow, that was a great joke that time. The whole pack is out of whack. And that's it. Okay. All right, then. I mean, you know, they're kind of running out of steam. And I guess, has this been done before? I guess it's just Freaky Friday. There's something there, I guess. It seems like a TV episode more than anything. That's what it is. It feels like... Is there a Hotel Transylvania TV series? It feels like this would be just the concept of, you know, random episode 12 of, like, 30 episodes. It seems like a Spongebob episode. Was there a Spongebob episode where he became, like, human? I feel like there was. There was one where he became a square. Either way, it just seems like kind of... When does this come out? Hold on. It said summer this year? Only in theatres summer. Okay. Would people want to see a review of this? Because we do have a new thing now where we do reviews live. We will do them in these streams. What are people's thoughts? Would you get into that? Because, I mean, now that I do reviews on stream and I'll do it live, I can just watch more things. Maybe. I can add it as a list of things to review. Are you interested in this? What are your thoughts? Do you... Does this... Does this tickle your bone? I don't know why I phrase it like that. But, like, I guess if I've got the time... I'll probably watch this. I haven't seen number three. Should I? Is number three good? Have they all gone downhill since? Because I actually really do enjoy number one. Like, unironically, it's just like, I think it is because it's like the first Sony slapsticky smear frame movie I've watched. But like, I do enjoy it. I already do. Because like, this is kind of tropey, you know? Like, and it takes interesting, I mean, this is the frame I've got to look at at the moment still. Have a look at this. I don't know if this is going to be peak comedy beyond... I, I feel like the funniest, the, like, the most gripping part is how they, you know, it happens to them and it starts. How do you keep that interesting a, an hour later, you know? But yeah, alright. Seems like an interesting thing, because, like, Sony have been kind of bottom of the barrel in the last, like, five years ago. And they're making their way up at the moment, you know? Spider-Verse completely blew people's minds. And obviously Hotel Transylvania 1 was successful and, and appealed to people until they're now just milking the series. And then Mitchell's vs. the Machines came out not too long ago. And that's doing pretty well, you know? I've heard a fair bit of critic uh, criticalism? Criti whatever, you know, I've heard some critics. And I'm like, actually, I can agree with that. You know, there are highs and lows of it. So their reputation isn't like bottom tier. And even though this is the fourth film, could be interesting, you know? Criticism, that is the I forgot the s sound, it really threw me off. Criticism is what I think I was trying to say at one point. But yeah, I forgot the word criticism. I'm a smart man. 